Greetings. In this video, we're going to look at Revit and custom materials and tiling. And we are working on the Barcelona Pavilion and taking a look at its iconic red marble wall. Absolutely stunning. Um, so we will start in Google, however. We will start in Google Advanced Image Search. Um, I don't actually know what size these images should be when they um, go into Google. I took a quick look and really couldn't find anything um, that helped me clarify that. Uh, creature habit, I always go and look for bigger images. Um, I don't put a lot of material images into Revit, so I'm not overly concerned about the size. You know, if you, if you, if you put a lot, um, if you were filling projects filled with them, um, I guess managing the size is more of a concern, but... I'm going to go through it like I would any image and find something of um, good print quality, decent print quality at least. Um, so I am in Google Advanced Image Search, so I have to Google that, and then I jump into Google Advanced Image Search. Here I am, and I typically go for two mags. Um, and I always start there, and... If I can't find what I'm looking for, then I will then I will back up and make it smaller in this direction. Um, so any size is where it starts by default. Large, medium. These are actually quite small. All of these icons small. So you have to get up here to start getting some bigger images, and that this is not even a guarantee. Um, but that's where I'm going to go with this. And then we will just put in Barcelona Pavilion red marble wall. And um, that's really all we need. And then we'll jump in and we'll be here and find something like this. Then I will find, I'm looking for, and and so I know, I know that such an iconic wall that's been studied and photographed so much would have plenty of images. Um, so I had, you know, I know that at two megs I could find something. I'm looking for a nice square on picture just like that we could photoshop those out um so this is kind of fun they kind of took over with lasers and um, put a layer on top of the uh, geometry there that's kind of wild but um but this is what we're focused on and when we come over here then we could find more images that are like it and then i would come here i would right click and i would save the image and I typically will grab about three images at the same time or so, and that is what brought me here into Photoshop. Um, I don't know. I again, you know, I, even though I don't know the, the exact answer is to what Revit wants for a, the size of a material file, I have to come here and I just want to evaluate the size of them. Um, I, I can't imagine that the tiniest little thumbnail um, that would be hard could be horribly pixelated if it were ever printed i can't imagine how that would work um, but maybe that's what the rendering image does kind of, the rendering in, engine does anyway I, these are the three that i found that i liked and just to talk about the two megapixels as no guarantee for size image size and this image has a resolution of 300 and is 4 by 2 inches. So 300 is print quality. And that's um, higher. I, I sometimes say, you know, especially if you're searching for images online, if, you know, if you're, if you're coming out of CAD and you're starting from scratch, a SketchUp model, you should always have 300. There's no reason if it's your work that you can have 300. Um, coming out of a, a creating a program that created something from scratch if you're going online and searching um, you you're kind of dealt the, the hand that you get um, so what I could do so the, so my point being is that if you can't keep 300 you could drop it down to 220 so you want to unclick resample so that these three are locked in together so this is just the width and the height locked in and so if I were to change this for instance the the height would change accordingly um, but you can't you can't cannot do this you can't just take a bigger image and not give up some res, re, resolution let me just go back one more time image size so it works like scales a scale basically you have size on one side of the scale and you have resolution on the other if you want to have a bigger image you have to sacrifice resolution if you want more resolution you get a smaller image um, 
my point with this is I think 200 might be fine. To the naked eye, 220. Um, let's do 220. That's what I usually go with. To the naked eye, I think 220 is, um, from what I've read in here, I think 220, and look, looking at printed work, I think 220 is fine. So that is my image, is um, almost 6 by 4 images at 6 by 4 inches at 220. Let's take a look at the others quickly. Image size. So this one is too small. So 72 is fine for a screen, but not fine for printing. Again, I'm not sure what the answer is to the question what should that be this one's getting smaller this is down to three by two inches if it's at 200 um, and and my wall is a small part of it so i'm getting it's getting smaller and smaller so i don't like this image this one's too small and this one didn't photograph so nicely um, looks like it had a weird flash on it or something um, but let's take a look at the size anyway. And it is 72 by 8 by 5. So if I bring it up, it's getting smaller yet. So I'm going to go with the original one that I like. I'm going to go with this guy. Um, and settled on a size of 223 by 5 inches. Okay. I'm in the crop mode. So this particular wall, um, there, there's no mistaking it. It's, it's, if you're going to do this pavilion and you're going to go in and look at this wall, it has to be right. Uh, another option is not to look at the wall, to go inside and look out the windows towards the garden and the statue. Um, so, you know, if, if, but if you're going to look at this wall, you want to do it correctly. So that's why it's worth this, um, worth this work, you know, or, don't look at directly at this wall. And this goes to say that for the other walls, um, the black marble ones, or if they're onyx, um, you don't, you don't need to go through this procedure and find the exact wall. Okay. So this is a step above that is not really necessary. Um, so there are different ways to come in and crop these guys out. Um, you can use a healing tool and cover them up. I'm not going to take the time in this video to do all of that. I think I might just crop them out and live with the fact that this is going to be possibly ill-proportioned. Um, but I'm just going to go for it anyway. I'm going to see what that... I mean, that's it's kind of a, a not a great solution, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Um, just in the in the interest of time and not to turn this into a whole Photoshop lesson as well. So I'm going to just see what this what this will create for me, because I really want to dig into the Revit part of it. Um, okay, so that's that. Then we could do a file, save as, and we could call this um, Red Marble. Custom. Save. Okay, and we have it. Good. Now we get into here, into Revit, and we're, what I want to look at are two things. The, um, the wall here and this column. So I'm going to select both of them. Control C, Control V. I'm going to move them out here. Um, I am going to um, add a wall, add a wall to this guy. Okay. Um, I know it doesn't exist like that in real life, but I want to do that so that I can see some shadow on the wall um, and see what that looks like. Um, because, you, because just like these walls have been photographed, 
you know, so perfectly. It doesn't really exist like that in real life. Shadows are cast on them. This wall is really in shadow. I mean, unless the sun is so low that it's coming in, we're really going to see it in shadow. I should put a roof back on is what is what really needs. Um, I might do that, actually. Um, I'm going to start, though, keeping the roof off just so I can navigate and, and look. But the really the way to, to evaluate it would be with a roof on. But I just want to look at the um, get through the material and the tiling first. So first, the column. Um, I'm going to double click on that, open up the family. I'm going to select the column. And when I do, I come over here and here's the material. I'm going to jump into there. Create a new material. Just double click and that vanished. I have to do that one more time. One more time. Material. New material. I'm not sure what it's doing there. I'm trying to load this thing. New material. Rename. Um, chrome. These are chrome plated. Chrome plated columns. All right, where do we go? Chrome plated columns. Open up the asset browser. Look at the physical library here. Um, let's go. For, so we'd be looking at for metals, perhaps. Chrome. There's a chrome. Let's take a look at that one. So I sent it over and it has been applied there. And I'm just going to apply and OK. OK, and at this point we must remember the important step of load into the project. And we'll click on that and overwrite the existing column that it is, that is in there already. Um, so I only have those two things open. I have the Barcelona, the Pavilion project, and the unnamed column family two different types of files so i had to get back to my original one and yes i will overwrite it and now the chrome um, is hopefully applied okay now next we'll move on to getting that jpeg onto my wall so we will go here we have my basic wall let's um let's it was good practice let's duplicate that duplicate rename let's call this um red wall And then we will go to Structure, Edit, Material, Edit. And from here, we will come to Appearance. We probably have to apply a new material. Create new material. Yes, let's do that. Let's rename it. Red Wall. And Appearance, Image. So back to the red wall there so image no image selected so I have not I'm not rather than go into the library and apply something to it I'm just gonna come right in here no image selected click on that or the white box um, and this looks like my correct I don't believe that's it right there um, so there are a lot of um, little ways to fine-tune it. I'm not going to get into that here. And then we have our um, so the graphics. This So this pertains to um, materials that are objects and, and that we see in the visibility graphics override for specific ones as we discussed in class. So that's helpful. Um, so yeah, that's all we really need is the appearance for right now. And you could come here and um, come to scene and apply it to a wall so different types of objects i guess it kind of fine tunes them there it is i don't know if it's i'm not sure what it's doing in the rendering i guess it's um but if nothing else you have an icon there okay so that's that and then i'm going to apply and say okay um the only other place so just before i go on 
Um, now, now it's in there. And now if I double click on that, it opens up yet another box and this. So rather than all of this starting here with this type of um, detailed information, double clicking on the image itself is how we get into the tiling and the texture editing. So right now I'm saying that the size that I brought this thing, this piece in, well, it's coming in as a sample of one by one. So I don't think that's what I'm going to want. Um, but I'm going to see what it, what, how it shows up before I do anything else. So this is the default, and this is what we see in a lot of our renderings, are those very heavy checkerboard patterns. And I think that's what we'll see here. I'm just going to leave it that way, though. Um, and then we'll take a look at it. We'll say OK to everybody. Um, so that's my basic red wall. Let's flip the corner here, turn this into my basic red wall as well. Red wall there. Um, I am going to, while I'm here, control C, control V. And let's, let's put this back to, um, let's do, let's do, let's just do a generic wall. Let's keep it as a generic wall, this guy too. I'm going to just make these um, generic wall two marble test one. Okay. Okay. So marble test one. Good. So now I'm going to go back in and let's take a look at some of the marble that we find um, inside. I think. So as I was saying, just, just to quickly um, reiterate this point, if we jump into, we are in 3D. So this, this red wall in here, the main, the main accent wall, I would call that, um, that's, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that and have it show up in a rendering, it has to look like the specific wall. You're not gonna find in the Revit library what you need for this wall. It's too iconic. It's, it's, everybody knows it. These other walls, I suspect some people in class are going and getting the actual images just like I did. So they're just going to Barcelona, um, you know, looking at all the marble walls, searching the photographs and finding them. You could do that. I, I suspect that these you could solve with Revit materials. Um, the travertine you could definitely solve. Um, and this is a travertine wall as well. So that's just my take on that. But so that's what I want to do is just look around for some other black, um, some black marble. And let me just um, bring that up quickly. Okay, here is the um, the surrounding the perimeter wall, we could call it. And it is, um, it's very unique as well, obviously. Um, it does, you know, it's a very unique pattern, no doubt. Um, but let's, let's take a look and see what we could come up with. Um, Going through the process once of get, uh, finding your own JPEG for one particular section of marble would be a great, great experience. Um, you know, knowing how to make your own custom materials. So let us go back to Revit and take a look around for some of the um, prepackaged stuff that comes with it. So let's grab our pieces. I'm actually going to one more time. Um, Grab these pieces, control C, control V. Okay, um, and one more time here. All right, so it already renamed it two. I just named it three. No big deal. Okay, so, all right, let's dig into it. Edit, edit, edit. New material. Rename. This was... I should have used the same name that is now covered up. This was um, test one. 
horrible test one. One more material. Marble test two. Marble one. Library. So we have the Autodesk physical assets and the appearance library. I find the appearance library is typically better. We have masonry. Stone. Granite. Limestone, limestone, slate, tra cream, travertine. That has potential for the floor. Um, so that's under masonry. And then there's another category under stone. And then we have granite, marble, and there's very little to choose from here. Um, for a floor, though, that, um, that other one looked good. Let's close that down and stick with our marble. So now we are in the appearance library, masonry, stone, and there's a lot to choose from here. Marble, black, white, large veins. So the veins are the, obviously the, the strings that kind of run through it. That might have potential. White, brown, no, no. Polished white green. There's some green in there, but um, not a lot. Uh, let's take a look. So that's all under masonry stone and... Let's, let's, let's just try one before we move to the last, because we only have one more folder to go. Um, white green, I'm doubtful about that. I'll try it. I'll try one. Um, okay, so that should have worked. Yep, it's applied. That other wall, that other wall is greenish, isn't it? Is there a third wall? Yeah, this wall here. So that's a third wall. This one has potential for right there. That's not a good photograph as I as I zoom in like that. But um let me just see if I have one more view of that. Is that this guy? No, this oh this is the other side. And this uh, that must I guess that must be the same. That's not it. Okay, um let's keep moving. Marble two. Open up. Back to stone, marble. Oh, there's really not much here to choose from. Um, no, I might go back to the other. Yeah, I thought there was more. Maybe in school. In school, I think there's more. Um, brick, masonry, stone. Marble. We tried the green. This is the one I'm also curious about. The large veins there. Let's shoot that over. Done. Good. And let's just see how it comes in straight out of the box. Again, we double click there and we see our scaling and our tiling, that, the way that it comes. Okay, 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 okay. And let's do something like that. View, render, background. So this is just an important point. Um, if you make this transparent, as I was suggesting, you can't save it to the project, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so if you make this transparent, that button will be grayed out. So let's go with a color. Let's go with a very light gray. And then I could roll this guy up and make it even lighter. So try that. Just a very simple, very simple background. Um, Exterior sun only. Most of these we're actually doing interior sun only, and I don't have a roof or a floor, so um, that would help the test. But um, but if you're inside, if you're doing an interior rendering of that red wall in particular, say interior. If you're in the courtyard, say exterior. Okay, um, I'm gonna stick with I'll stick with exterior. 
because I, I think if you go interior, it's going to brighten it up and it'll just probably be bright enough. Um, I'm going to do a high one and I'll turn, I'll turn off the video maybe while it happens. Region, we'll just do what we see on the screen for this purpose. You should be working with a, it. I think this is a good way to start to test a couple of things at once. So you, so you're not just testing one at a time. Um, I think this is more efficient. Obviously, when you're working on a final rendering, you want to work from that camera and be in the, in the specific um, circumstances. But if you if you want to test out what four different marbles look like, I think this is the way to go. Um, okay, so I think we're good. Let's go printer, high. Let's go 300, okay. And I think we're good. We'll hit render, and I will pause. Okay, so the rendering is done, and um, no success with the column. I'm not sure why that is. The red JPEG showed up. Um, this doesn't look too bad. It's it, it's not. Um, I think this is this might be usable. This no, not the black vein one. Um, so I'm going to return. So let me, um, so one thing I just wanted to show was the adjust exposure. So at this point, again, as we discussed in class, if we hit adjust exposure before we save it to the project or before we export it, we could jump in and adjust these values. Um, there's nothing really up here that I feel like needs to be adjusted. But when it comes to, you know, getting those interiors that are getting very dim, get here into the shadows and it gives you a little leeway to brighten up shadows. I guess there's only so much you could do. Um, the shadows if there's no information in there you can't really brighten it up um, but anyway good resource there and then I am not going to bother exporting this I will just jump in um, one thing I wanted to point out was that here edit type edit edit appearance um, it looked like while while I wasn't recording, it looked like this didn't take at first. You have to make sure that this is up here clicked with um, image. Make sure that that's selected. I think I'm not sure if I had that selected. Um, so that's one thing. And then let's let's just take a quick look at tiling. So this takes experimentation. This is my green wall that I kind of liked. Edit. Edit. Test one, appearance, click on the tile, and this is what we're going to exper experiment with. Um, so if we say no tiling, the question is how big is this thing? Can we say none and none? And can we make this thing the size of this wall? Which I didn't measure. So let's call it 20 feet by, um, in height, we know that it's 9 feet. Let's see what that does. So no tiling, trying to make it the full size. Let's try it. Apply. Okay. 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 All right. Let's, even though we don't like this one, let's also just, let's take advantage of this to do some tiling as well and just experiment. Test two, appearance, click on. Um, so let's keep this one as tiling and let's treat these things like um, some of the panels that we know are very big size of a piece of plywood about in width that would be eight feet by four feet. I'm sure this information is out there. Um, that or five by ten. Eight by four. Good. Okay. Apply. Okay. 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 And I will render. I'm still curious about the column. I will render and return. Okay, the render is complete. And um, I forgot to alter this one, obviously. This one peculiarly did not um, complete, and this other looks the best so far. Um, let's close that and take one more look. So, 
let's see let's start with the one let's start with the one that made most sense at least and that's here 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 so this was tiled four foot tiles I thought I had changed that. Let's make this eight feet. Done. Apply. Okay. Make sure I'm hitting all my applies and okays. Um, this one I didn't do anything to apparently. tiling at one foot so we know we don't like that and the other one is where we took the tiling off so I, I'm suspicious of that working at all let's try um, let's try some big uh, let's try let's try tiling at the size of the wall which I don't know exactly but again 20 by 9 let's try that let's tiling at the size of the wall apply okay okay apply okay so tiling at the size of the wall, tiling at 8 by 4, and this one oddly did not work at all, and this is where I took the tiling off, I believe. Yeah, and that clearly did not work. Um... And I don't know, they didn't, they, they didn't appear to be 9 by 9 either, I think. I'm, I'm just going to try this, I'm just going to try this one more time. Um, let's, let's go with none the size of the, um, the size of the wall. So, same as the other one. The other one was set to the same numbers on tiling. This one is not done. Apply OK, OK, OK. And one more render. All the settings are good. And we'll return. Okay, have returned. Um, so, making some progress now, finally. I am going to cut the video at this point. It's um, getting on, but I think these are the tools that, that you have to work with, the tiling. Um, I, I think this looks decent. Decent for a first first quick shot. I mean, it's not. it's obviously not a true rep replication of the wall but i think that's decent for our first project and i think this is okay too um, i would continue to experiment and try to get these into longer panels or, or whichever exactly match the um yeah these longer panels look like again four by eight five by ten um four by eight probably four probably well if this is nine feet they're just three feet tall actually if this is truly nine feet which i believe it is um, that just might be nine feet tall, so these just might be um, three, three by eight. I don't know. We'd have to look that up to be certain. Um, but anyway, my my bigger point is that I don't expect it to be duplicated perfectly for our very first project. So I just want to um, bring over some a, a past student here. So I would, I I I've been trying to stress the point of setting your cameras so that you only focus on or that you focus mostly on those particular views but i just want to amend that and say that you should you should while yes it's important to focus on those those particular views if if you like this view but you can't get this wall correct then make this a black and white line drawing you know coming inside here i i really enjoyed a lot of those black and white line drawings as i said when i was reviewing your work you know, so this could be a, a, a line drawing. This, where the granite is so far away from us, it's in the ballpark and the travertine's nice. So pick and choose what you render. Don't render something that, you know, don't attempt to show off or don't show off a rendering of something that's not going well. So you have to think carefully about, um, and again, you have to experiment. Take take out a couple of, um, you know, different different materials and see which ones are coming along best and that's where you aim the cameras. All right, I hope that was helpful. I know it's a little long and um, kind of a tedious um, process, 
and it takes experimentation at the end but i do not expect to see you know these lines perfectly cut like this all right thank you